right, on, right Honorable Mr. Shama Abubi, Prime Minister of Nepal, uh, Honorable Mrs. Sujata Koyvana, former Deputy Prime Minister and uh, uh, Leader of the National Congress, Dr. Abja Shakir, Chairperson of International Concern Center, Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good afternoon. Today, the book launching of the Nepal-China relations, relations, new avenues and possibilities held in Prime Minister's Secretary Hall fully shows Prime Minister Oli's high attention to China-Nepal relations. On behalf of the Chinese Embassy in Nepal, I express my heartfelt thanks to Right Honorable Prime Minister Oli and all the friends who are dedicated to the efforts of deepening China Nepal relationship and pushing forward the development and of these bilateral relations. The development of China has not only changed the China but also had a profound impact on the world. The modern China increasingly catches the world's eyes. The 19th National Congress of Communist Party of China, conveyed in last October, established a historical position of a Xi Jinping thought of socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era, mapped out an inspiring blueprint and an action plan for securing a, de a decisive victory in building a mod moderately prosperous society in all respects and for striving for the success of socialism with Chinese char characteristics for the new era and marked that the socialism with Chinese characteristics entered a new era. Several days ago, the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference and the National People's Congress successfully concluded. And the new leadership of the country has been uh, elected and uh, the new uh, restructure plan of the State Council and uh, amend amendments to the Constitution of China was adopted, which has uh, great significance to China's development in the years ahead. The economic threats of China has reached a new height. Significant halfway <coughs> has been made in reform and opening up, and the people's living standards have been constantly improved China has made historical achievements in all fields and stands at a new starting point of development in history. This year marks the 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up. During the 40 years development, China's people's living quality and the standard have been improving substantially. China has made tremendous contribution to the world economic growth and the poverty reduction accounting for more than 30% and 70% respectively. However, China's basic national condition has remained the same. That is, China still and will long remain in the primary stage of socialism. This, this has not been changed. China's international status as the world's largest developing country has not changed. The new government has specified three major missions. First to coordinate all work to maintain stable growth, prompt, uh, promote reform, make structure adjustment, improve living standards, and uh, guard against risk while focusing on three challenges, namely forestalling and the diffusing of major risks, targeted poverty, elevation, and addressing pollution. Second, to deepen reform in key areas and improve business environment. Third, to focus on people's livelihood improvement, such as empowerment, employment, education, health, and the retirement, and fulfill the promises of the government. China is entering a new era of development with brand new week. China's development can't be isolated from the world and vice versa. China is determined to build world peace, contribute to global prosperity, and uphold the international order. The aim of China's major country diplomacy in the new era is to foster a new type of international relations and build a global community with a shared future. 
which was written repeatedly in the UN documentary, documentations and in the constitution of the People's Republic of China. China will continue to actively participate in the reform as well as building up a global governance system and contribute more Chinese wisdom, Chinese solutions, and Chinese strengths to the world and push for building an open, inclusive, clean, and beautiful world with lasting peace, universal security, and common prosperity. China will deepen relations with its neighbors including Nepal, in accordance with the principle of uh, amity, sincerity, and mutual benefit, and inclusiveness, and the policy of forging friendship and partnership <coughs> with its neighbors. Guided by the principle of upholding justice for pursuing shared interests, and the principle of sincerity, real results, affirmity, and good faith, China will work to strengthen solidarity and cooperation with other developing countries. The Belt and Road Initiative, proposed by President Xi Jinping, is a global public good provided by China. Extensive consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits is its golden rule. It will abide by international rules and follows market principles. To date, more than 80 countries, including <coughs> and international organizations, have signed the BRI agreements with China. China will actively boost the building of the Belt and Road Initiative, strengthen exchanges and cooperation with the world. We believe China's reform and development will benefit the mankind. Nepal has successfully completed three tier elections in which the Nepalese people actively supported and participated, and a new government has been formed under the leadership of Right Honorable Prime Minister Oli. China congratulates Nepal for taking this important step on the way of implementing the new constitution and fostering national development and stability. China will continue supporting Nepal's efforts in maintaining independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, formally supporting Nepal to explore the development paths in line with their own reality. China and Nepal are good friends and good neighbors. China and Nepal friendship is deeply rooted in the people's hearts and enjoys broad support. The key principles of keeping China and Nepal bilateral relations moving forward are mutual respect and support, equal treatment, and joint development. China highly appreciates Nepal's adherence to one China policy and Nepal's full support on CISA and Taiwan issues. At present, both China and the Nepal stand at a crucial point of development of new era. New opportunities are in sight. Those countries' common pursuit of development is a cooperation opportunity. The determination for strong bilateral, bilateral cooperation in various fields, areas is an opportunity. The Belt Road Initiative, joined by two countries, is an opportunity. The two sides should implement all agreements with down-to-earth spirit, promote the connectivity of road and railway, improve port infrastructures, advance trade facilities, push forward the construction of cross-border economic cooperation zone, enhance the cooperation on post-disaster reconstruction and investment in tourism, promote people-to-people -people and culture exchanges, and strengthen the visits between governments, parliamentaries, parliaments, parties, local governments, business sectors, media, youth and women, etc. I expect the Nepalese government to provide necessary support and help for the Chinese enterprises exploring operating in Nepal. China is willing to continue as always providing assistance and support for Nepal's development within its capacity. In November this year, the first China International Import Expo will be held in Shanghai. We hope that Nepal will seize this opportunity to show its unique landscape, abandoned resources, time honored cultures, and explore new growth points of bilateral trade. We believe that China Nepal Comprehensive Cooperative Partnership 
featuring everlasting friendship, will make new achievements continuously under the joint efforts of the two sides. Let's join hands to compose a new chapter of China-Nepal relations. Thank you.